This is the Miko Leo or Golden Lion Tamarind. They are only found in forests of Brazil. Their playful appearance belies a serious existential threat, according to the conservation group, the Meta Population Project. There are only around 2,500 left in the wild. In the 2014, our census identified something like 3,700 animals. That means from 2017 until today, after the arrival of the yellow fever, we had for the first time a decreasing of the population, and this called us the attention very much. And Conservation efforts over the past few decades brought the animal back from the brink of extinction, but an outbreak of yellow fever in 2018 wiped out a third of their population. Now, experts are concerned that this dual carriageway has confined a group of monkeys to a small area of forest, which could lead to devastating consequences, according to local conservationists. The scientists showed that the population living over there. Would be completely isolated from the other side of the road, and that would create a real problem in terms of conservation. Genetically, that population would be isolated, and that's really bad. To help the monkeys reach the other side, the Meta Population Project built a bridge across the busy highway last year. It's covered with trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants in the hope of making it a natural corridor attractive to the primates. The conservationists say, with the forest fractured by towns, pastures, and roads, a bridge like this is crucial. The endangered monkeys are down to just five percent of their habitat, but they are determined to give them a better chance at survival. James Rayner and Ken Ning for Taiwan Plus.